So what are the absolute basics for project managers? And knowing these basics is a good starting point for when you are a starting project manager, when project management is new for you. But also to fall back to when you've tried everything already and lost control somehow along the way. I'm Jan van Egmond, I'm project manager, researcher and hacking and cracking the best and worst of project management to find better ways to stay in control that are easier to learn and easier to use. Well, your role as a project manager is to complete projects successfully and to stay out of problems. And to do that, certain basic needs must be fulfilled. That is what basic needs are about. It is what you need to complete projects successfully and to stay out of problems. I've analyzed hundreds of problems and almost all problems can be traced back to four unfulfilled basic needs. People lack the time to get the work done. They lack collaboration, there is a lack of clear plans, lack of adaptability. And when you think about those basic needs, it makes perfectly sense. All projects in the world need people and time to get the work done. All projects in the world need collaboration, because you can't do it alone. And all projects need plans, because projects are way too complex to go without writing it down. And all projects need adaptability, because no matter how much time you spend on planning, it is going to change. So it makes perfectly sense to always stay focused on fulfilling the basic needs and to use your common sense during all the project phases of the project. And there are four. Initiation, planning, execution, closing. And let's go through them one by one. It is straightforward. It is common sense. Well, initiation is to get clarity about what the project is about. It is about who will be involved. Clients, stakeholders, experts. And for a start, just ask your boss. And about what their expectations are, what the project must deliver. And about what the boundaries of the project are that the project must stay within. And your stakeholders can tell you all about it. Once you've collected all this information about what the project must deliver and what the boundaries are, then start planning. And you have to create three distinct plans. The first plan is how to create the products. And this is what your team will be working on during the execution phase. Well, keep it simple. You really don't need to tell them how they should do their job. That is what they know. The second plan is about how you are going to fulfill the four basic needs. It defines what your actions are for when your team is working on creating the products. Take note that you don't necessarily need accurate estimates and a lot of detail to fulfill the basic needs. The third plan is about monitoring the project. It defines the actions to monitor that the products are created, whether the basic needs are fulfilled and whether the projects will stay within the project boundaries. Or you might need to cycle a couple of times through those plans together with your team before you finalize your project. But if you are a starting project manager, your project will be probably small, straightforward. You have to focus on fulfilling the basic needs all the time and use your common sense. You really don't need to start with learning all those advanced planning techniques in advance. Well, during the execution stage, your team will be working on creating the products using the plan that you have created for that. And you will focus on fulfilling the basic needs. That is your prime focus. Fulfill the basic needs so your team can continue creating the products. And you will monitor the progress of the project. Are products created? Are the basic needs fulfilled? And will the project stay within boundaries? And when something is not going okay, then collaborate with your team to fix it. And always use your common sense. Well, finally, the project closure is straightforward. It's still far away. You have plenty of time to prepare. I'm not going to waste your time on that right now. So this summarizes the absolute basics of project management, the four basic needs, the four phases of the project, and the three plans to create. And most important of all, always stay focused on fulfilling the basic needs and use your common sense. Well, if you like this guide and you want to read it back or want to have it, then I have good news. This guideline is chapter 5 of my book, Project Management Secrets. You can download this chapter for free. And a summary of the basic needs is included as well. So go to empoweryourprojects.com slash chapter 5 for a free download. And I'll also keep you informed about the availability of my book. And if you want to know more about Project Management Secrets, well, you might consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.